Welcome to the first look at Patch Duro 3. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today, and I think you're really gonna be excited to see all of the new innovations coming to this next edition of these cards. But first, a little bit of background. Tarot is a system of archetypes and esoteric concepts that weave themselves together through a language of symbol, art, and geometry, providing insight into the nature of one's body of consciousness and their place in the world. Many will consider tarot to be a tool for fortune telling or divination, but this could be said to be one of the lowest forms of its use, and the least practical as well. True enlightenment is not relying on an external source to tell you what tomorrow will hold, but drawing upon wisdom and reflective insight available everywhere in reality in order to master our own lower nature and draw ourselves up into a higher reality. Patch Tarot especially has been designed with this purpose in mind, bridging the gaps between traditional tarot decks and symbolism, ancient spiritual scripture and wisdom teachings, and modern mainstream scientific understanding about who we are and how we can create powerful changes within our own bodies and physiology by transforming the way we think and feel. Even if most are unaware, the tarot has a profound correlation to the Kabbalistic Tree of Life structure, designed based on the 10 sefirot and the 22 pathways of the Hebrew alphabet, each letter of which has a mystic connotation and meaning underlying it. However, even older than its Kabbalistic roots, many believe that tarot finds its origin all the way back in ancient Egypt. For us with Patch Tarot, its first two editions saw these connections magnified and vividly expressed, and very soon, Patch Tarot 3 will be launching, taking things even further. One of the biggest changes at the highest level of Patch Tarot 3 is regarding its connection with the Tree of Life itself. As you may recall from our Tree of Life Spirit Science series, there is a gap at the top of the tree that is said to represent the void of connection between spirit and man. This expression is not incorrect to the present reality. We do so often act and behave as though disconnected from a sense of unity and inner divinity. Yet it is also true, as we know from the brilliant works of scientists today, such as Dr. Bruce Lipton, that our DNA and genetic expression changes itself based on the signal inputs we receive from the environment. And if we are continually affirming to ourselves how we are limited and disconnected from our true selves and our higher nature, we will continue to create that paradigm. And so, we have been working with a revised geometry that serves as a signal of greater connection with spirit at the highest levels. The shift with Patch to Row 3 then, that changes many things within the cards, is the deviation from this classic, fallen tree of life to this connected expression of it, which we call the Ascended Tree. In principle, it's entirely the same, except that it reflects and represents a DNA pattern and lattice that bridges the gap between spirit and man, as a blueprint that we might use for living fully integrated with the mind of God, as it has been called. This image is also depicted on the new card back, which shows how the Godhead aligns in the middle of the Flower of Life and reaches out to the border. We have then created that DNA pattern with a six-fold symmetry, wrapping around and giving us, for the first time, a card back for Patch Tarot that is reversible, a much sought request from past users of these cards. In addition to this major change, many of the cards will see revisions. In some cases, cards have been entirely redrawn, such as Vitality and the Four Princes. We also have some new cards, bringing the deck back into alignment with the traditional tarot structure too. For instance, in addition to the child, which previously took the place of the fool in Patch Duro 2, we also today are bringing back the fool and clearly distinguishing his meaning from that of the child, each of these reflecting unique archetypes and pathways in our personal journeys. Along with these, many of the cards have also seen smaller, subtle changes and additions throughout. There's a lot of new changes to find in these cards. And so if you've used Patchtro before, I can guarantee that you're going to find this new deck entirely upgraded. Finally, we are working diligently to bring you a new, tangible experience of these cards as well. It's not just that they will look different, but they will feel different too. And while there are several key changes to the material cards themselves, one that is perhaps the most exciting 
is that these cards will feature an integrated holographic design, bringing the vibrant imagery to pop in ways like you've never seen before. Patchtro 3 is going to be going on pre-order in June, so please keep your eye out for the next video that we're going to publish all about it. And get ready, these cards are like nothing you've ever experienced before. If you'd like to see more behind the scenes on the making of these cards, including early initial draft sketches, time lapses, along with a little bit of a commentary on what's going on behind the scenes, please check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash spiritverse. Thank you very much for your support along this way, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.